we're in North Dorset, we're going to uh, look for foxes. Uh, on the first farm they milk sheep, so they lamb at all sorts of strange times of year. Um, and they have been taking a few. Um, we'll try and keep on top of them anyway. The first farm, unfortunately, does not produce foxes, but it produces hares, thanks, says David, to fox shooting. You can see them in black via the video from David's Pulsar Thermion Scope. It's not been an especially unusual year for fox litters, says David, though he has had to adapt his shooting to fit in with lockdown. Nine times out of ten I go out on my own, or I do have my son with me sometimes. Um, but, um, yeah, we've been self-isolating as in we haven't been seeing anyone much at all. I've, I've stopped calling in to see the farmer but I've been ringing him and telling him what's going on. So yeah not too bad and the foxes seem to be you shoot one and three come to the funeral. It was a good spring for them. Uh, you know, the weather was just right for them um, and I think you know, they're, they're budgeting out into the, uh, into the countryside now and uh, we're beginning to pick up quite a few. They're still in family groups, I've noticed. There's three, sometimes four, all within 100 yards of one another. Um, so they're still in their family groups. And I've also noticed one or two late litters must have been, because they're extremely small, one or two of them, still. So where next? The second place is a small shoot, a farmer shoot. Um, and they've put a few pheasants down this year. No duck, but they've put the pheasants down and we're just looking over there. The, the neighbours have just combined the last of the barley and um, I think they were in there, so we might possibly see something tonight. Um, unfortunately, next door is a field of maize and so they might pop into there, but we'll have a look. This place does produce one animal ventures out of the maze, lured by David Calling. It's a sort of a squealing rabbity type that seems to work quite well on these um, quite quiet still nights in autumn especially. They seem to uh, seem to react to that quite well. And I, I've found that if you make too much noise you just, they just go. They just have enough, that's it. What the hell is that noise? You know, it's making far too much. Well done that subtle call. Even though he didn't find the fox until the following morning, I have to give a shout out for the torch we use, a three night T2, and there's a link to it in the description. It's tiny but extraordinarily bright. David runs through the kit he uses on our field tester channel. Please go and have a look at that.